So let's jump right into it with the uh, legal news, because we have a lot of legal topics right. today, a lot of legal stuff that's come up uh, during the last couple days. Um, so one of the biggest things that has come up is the affirmative action. So, so basically, to, as a summary, we're not going to go line by line um, on the, the full complaint and do one of those reviews, the full, not complaint, but court decision and kind of go through that. That's for, that's for others to do. I want to have more of a, a conversation about affirmative action holistically. Um, what happened was affirmative action in college admissions – Mm -hmm. has now been overturned. There was a challenge uh, by a group of students, uh, primarily, I believe, Asian, um, mm -hmm. who challenged uh, the admissions process uh, because they used race as a factor in determining who they let into the university and who they did not. Okay. Uh, and that has now been found impermissible, six to three, a 6 3 decision in the Supreme Court. It's also notable. Uh, I think, I don't know if we talked about this on here, but when I was, I. It, Going back to Gorsuch's like magnum opus anti-COVID decision, where he just basically put paid to, like all of this really, in my opinion, rather silly and specious logic that's been going on the past two and a half years, three years, going back into 2020. The, I don't think people are really aware of the the court's composition has pretty fundamentally shifted, and it shifted toward what. Some describe as the conservative side of the court. Others describe as the liberal side of, you know, the conservative liberal axis, if you will, really changed. And it, it happened very quickly and at a time that I think the press did not even really fully understand what happened there. When Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away and they very quickly shot through Coney Barrett to become, to put her on the court, that really changed the composition of things. You know, because up to that time, it was really kind of a 5-4. And honestly, the main swing vote, Roberts, I, I don't even view him as, like, partisan, like, ideologically conservative or liberal. No, I, I, I honestly, uh, Roberts is, look, I've called, I said it before and I'll say it again. Roberts is a status, definitely a status. He's yeah. definitely pro uh, it, government. He just sides power. with, it just seems, he tends to just sort of side with whatever the government's doing. Right, and like, yeah, the government you know, can do that. You yeah, know, move right. along. Yeah, right. And that, it, having that as kind of the swing vote four to four against that had resulted in a lot of very, how do I put it, sort of pro, in favor of government decisions. When that shifted, now you've kind of got Gorsuch out there who's, I hesitate to call like he doesn't seem libertarian leaning. He's just an old school constitutionalist. It looks to me like who's just who's just not really buying into a lot of this. Oh well, you know the times have changed. It's like no, the times haven't changed. Constitution is still the constitution. We need to respect it. Yeah, and you can count on I think Gorsuch, Thomas, and maybe Alito to mm -hmm. to be in that camp consistently. But in terms of Comey Barrett and. Um, and Roberts is it Coney or Comey? Com is it Comey or Coney? I don't yeah, know. Maybe the chat will tell I don't us. know. But anyways, yeah. Barrett, right? Barrett, yeah, Barrett, Barrett. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. But frankly, with with her decisions, I'm never sure where she's going to land. I always can see her and Roberts caucusing with, so to speak, caucusing mm, yeah. with the liberal side, right? Really? In, in a lot of in a lot of pro state uh, decisions, I can see that. For example, when we're looking at the hospital mandates, right? Uh -huh. So when we looked at the hospital mandates, because people forget this, people think, "Oh yeah, Supreme Court huge win on the yeah, yeah. jab mandate, right. right?" OSHA, they beat OSHA. Well, not really. They they won, yes, for all employees, but there was the mandate for hospitals and medical facilities to yeah, 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 because because you know, medical people they could they could com they could compel them, which I don't agree Correct. with, and it's all based on a pretty at the bay the. If you if you go back, the, the, it's, I think it's the Marshall case. It's like at the turn of the the twentieth century, that Supreme Court said you could impose, I believe, a fine for people that refuse to take inoculations against smallpox, and that's the that's the underlying case that they they try to base mandates on. But I find the logic a little bit off because it's like imposing a fine is different than making people take something, to my mind. You know, that, that yeah. that's a qualitatively different thing. And in any event, not going there that deeply. It, I think it's I think it's worthwhile to note right now 
we have seen a massive shift in the makeup of the Supreme Court. Well, I like, I like what James says here. His his description, which seems to be pretty accurate, honestly, is three communists, three ideological conservatives, and three establishment types. I think who, that's who are the fair. three establishment? So Roberts, yeah. Barrett, and who's the third establishment type? Thomas? Um, no, no, not no, 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 not Thomas. Um, Thomas is hardcore conservative. Yeah, no, you know Roberts and Barrett for sure. Um, I think well, maybe Alito a little bit. He's maybe kind of a, little a little bit of Alito. Oh no, Kavanaugh. Oh uh, yeah, forgot about Kavanaugh. Okay, yeah, 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 Kavanaugh. Yeah, he's kind of a. Kavanaugh. Well, is he? A, is he? Would you yeah. call him kind of a? Gor- yeah, Gorsuch, Alito, and uh, Thomas, I think, are more are out there on the yeah, like yeah. arch constitutionalist side. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. I mean, I, I've seen once again more more often than not. I think both Alito and Gors, uh, sorry, Alito's gonna, uh, sorry, no, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh. I think more likely than not, Kavanaugh than Barrett. If you tip between Kavanaugh mm. and Barrett, which one's gonna go more ideological conservative? I think it's gonna be Kavanaugh. And frankly, See, I would have thought Barrett on that. You think so? Yeah, oddly, but I. Well, it's weird. Because uh, here's, here's the if thing: if it's procedural stuff that's in favor of the state, I think Kavanaugh goes that way. Yeah, but it's if it's cultural issues. It looks to me like Barrett is far more culturally conservative than than than. But her cultural concern, I don't, I don't agree with that because her cultural conservative. I, I think you may think that because of her personal background, but if you look at the way she votes, particularly let's even go back to the mandate, right? Mm-hmm. If you're really culturally conservative, if you really believe in people's religious protections and their personal yeah, you protections. Have, you you won't force that. you won't yeah. force a jab, yeah. right? Yeah. If you really were convicted, right, mm-hmm. you would never force that. Yeah, she's not there. She doesn't have the courage behind those convictions. So you know, it's the people that say it on the face, but she's she's not there. Well, and what, what I know is she's is been Ali- there in the votes. Alito, though. she's well, been there in a lot certain, of the votes for yeah. certain votes. Yeah, right? She true. was there for and in so I bring up Alito boarded Roe. Yeah, Alito and and Barrett right yeah. were on that train. Yeah. So yeah. you know, like in terms of Roe, yeah. they were all on the right side of that. Right. Um, but well, ideologically right. Ideologically right. right. Yeah, you're right. Right. Or, Understood. I, uh, yeah, I just want to make clear what we're saying yeah the yeah that's interesting i see because i think of barrett is more yeah okay i i see your point and you keep up with it a little bit better than i do that yeah that'd be and i haven't really been i i always forget about kavanaugh he's been kind of an he's been kind of an ironic justice because he came in under so much controversy and then he's been kind of quiet since he got on the court like he doesn't really make a lot of waves it seems like yeah i Compared to the other justices, I guess, you know, yeah, because for they've now. been they've been on they've been on the kind of leading side of a lot of the drama, you know, whether it's Thomas mm-hmm. or whether it's Gorsuch, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, the leaked decision drama, yeah, yeah. And, and certainly did they ever conclude that? Did they find out who? Did no, that? they still haven't. Well, we 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 know who the you know who did that. I don't. Come I, on, I can see arguments both ways for for you think. Okay, so you're gonna make an argument. I mean. uh Someone made an argument to me, and I don't know whether it was Barnes or somebody else, that maybe it was intentionally leaked, mm. right? You know, yeah, kind of to, prepare the, to, to, to prepare the to prepare the public. population. For, like, yeah, I could see that someone, if someone wanted to make that argument, I could see that, um, but I don't think that's what it was. Right. Like, I do not think they were. You know, it was intentionally leaked. That's just my personal, my personal take there. Um, I could believe it either way. Yeah. I put it that way. I could believe it either way. Okay. Okay. I mean, you know, I, I, I could, uh, yeah, I could see it. I could see an argument for that, but I think most likely it was a liberal justices uh, admin assistant to be completely honest. Might've been, might've been. It's, so that that's the prevailing conventional wisdom is that it was a, one of the left leaning justices at administrative assistant or clerk or whatever they had. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. That they had one of their folks actually leak that. Because if you look at that timing, well, and that was the other thing is timing wise, didn't that kind of impact the election too? Yes, yes, it was supposed to be a, something that influenced the midterm. Okay, well, mission accomplished there. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, um, but anyway, so this this the current this only pertains to yeah, universities. And, yes, this only change in law. Yeah, and. They're already going to try some bullshit. You know it. They're going to try something else. Well, didn't Biden come out within hours and say, like, we're going to. No, that's for student loan forgiveness. And we'll get Mm -hmm. to that next. But, you know, colleges are going to try to make some way to get it into the juju. 
Mm -hmm. right? They're going to try to make some way to remove merit from the system. And, and, but I, I'm really glad, especially for this one, we're in Asia, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, representing the, the Asia side of things over here, you right. know, the, the jade pill or whatever right. you want to call it, you know, the Asia pill. Yeah. And, and, I like the and jade pill. Shout out to my really based Asians. There's a video of this incredibly based Asian from Brown uh, that I want to show you. Would real we call quick. him Bayesian? Bayesian, because he's the based Asian. Based so he's Bayesian. 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 Uh, so shout out to us. We're going to roll that. Uh, Kari, if you could roll that for us, uh, my good friend. I'll get that queued up over here. think that this is move forward on this. Right. Well, I think this is a win for students all across America because we shouldn't be judging students based on the race when we're deciding who gets in, into what schools. I think that um, I, I believe that your previous guest is mistaken in this regard. Because I think that by getting rid of affirmative action, now we look at the individual student and what they've accomplished, and we can look at what barriers they've overcome. But we, sh but we view them as an individual first and foremost, as opposed to just viewing them as an, a blob in an amorphous, larger racial group, as opposed to just under this new system, we get to view students for who they are as individuals. And I think that's a much better way to go forward on this topic. You heard Boomi's point there, though, that this now forces students, if they want uh, the school to take into account race in some fashion or form, that they're going to have to now write about this. So we're back. Um, and so you're telling me that they're actually going to vet their candidates on an individual basis just based on their qualifications? I know, that, that's weird. They're that's actually going to go back to looking at... Whether or not students are qualified to, to attend. attend the university. Wow. wow. Yeah. Shocking. It's interesting. It's, it's almost, and you know what's so funny is it's almost as if those rankings will actually matter a little bit. Uh, although we can debate whether the colleges are Does teaching anybody else them. feel like, like, I don't know about you, but do you, do you just kind of feel like up is down, black is white, where it's like, yeah. It's like everybody's. It, so the argument against this decision, and I do understand the background, and I would say on a level, I can understand the argument that there are folks, they're disadvantaged, whatever. But at the end of the day, it's sort of one of those politics makes strange bedfellows kind of situations where it's put people in camps where they're like oddly arguing in favor of a certain level of discrimination. Right, yeah, the leftists, like in America, that's where we're at right now. We're at the point where the leftists are arguing pro-discrimination, like they want discrimination. And they want active discrimination against every other minority group. And that's why I think for eventually, um, you know, in particular, this is just going to cause infighting because those other groups are going to say, hey, wait a second, this is hitting me. Yeah, right, right, right. Right, because right. I'm outperforming you, so I want to, you know, and then it's going to become the battle of the minorities. Right, mm -hmm. then it's then it's a real race war. Right? Well, I mean, you know. uh, well, at least for now, it will be a sort of. I mean, it could be a, a ideological level, a ideological, a, social, philosophical. philosophical, right? But that's how you cause tension. It is, this is causing more tension. Yeah, but with the makeup of this court being as it is right now, we could see this being the law now for what 10, 15 years now. Uh, I, I mean, they've got to pass something at a congressional level. Uh, if they want to change this, you know, like if they're going to, can they overrule this by, I mean, John Marshall's made his law and now let him enforce it. You've always got that issue as the Supreme court where right. you can issue as many opinions as you want, but the executive and the legislature can also do what they want to do. But my point is, is the, I thought this was a statutory scheme. You know, it was, it, it was a, a university practice, because remember, they're carried and sticked in, right? So universities are regulated by the fact that they receive federal funding. Right. So if they want yeah. that federal funding, they've right. got to act right, right? right? Ho's got to get Does in Does everybody line. take Fed money now? Everybody but, takes even every, private, and that's how they get private universities, because a lot yeah, of the private right. universities take <clears throat> federal funds, and therefore right. they're in it too. So your Christian universities, yeah, that's a problem. And I know a lot of you, by the way, went to Christian universities, and you see now even the Christian universities, the Catholic universities, the Baptist universities, I mean, hell, SMU, all that really? stuff. You know, they're not they're not what they were before. Yeah, even I've heard people going to really conservative schools like Elon in, in mm -hmm. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Even those schools are going woke. Wow. Even and, those schools are and, going but, woke. But it's coming. Because they're forced to do it. Because, But it's coming through the federal funds. It's that's, the minute that's, you take federal funds. And they're afraid to get the hammer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Did not yeah. know that. 